welcome to this week's Thought for the Week. I'm Becca and this is Kate and we are from Sutton Schools Work. And today we're going to be looking at the topic of time. So to get us thinking a little bit more about this topic of time and how we spend our time, we're going to kick off with a little bit of a game and have a bit of fun. And if you're watching this, then please feel free to join in. But basically what's going to happen, and I'm sure you're all familiar with a game like this, is when we, Becca and I are going to close our eyes and um, the timer is going to be going on our phone. And we simply have to raise our hand when we think it's got to 20 seconds. And afterwards we'll see who was the closest. So let's join in um, and see how you do. funny thing. Some days go super super quickly, especially when you are having fun. But some days go really slowly and they drag and they feel like they're actually lasting forever. Now you're in secondary school, you probably have way more choices as to how you like to spend your time. And maybe you're one of those people that likes to have a colour-coded diary or calendar to let you know what you're doing when. Or some of you might think, no, I'm one of those people that just wings it and just take each day as it comes. Or you might be someone in between all of those things, which most of us probably are. So half term is fast approaching. And I don't know about you, but September went super quickly. So why not now use this opportunity to reflect on how you are spending your time? Maybe you're one of those people that likes to get their homework done um, out of the way and then it's in on time. Or some of you might feel that you just sit at home, um, spending time watching TV, playing games, watching Netflix, on social media, whatever it is. Or again, you might be somewhere in between. But either way, it's really important that we live a balanced lifestyle, that you have time to recharge. When it comes to the subject of time, the Bible has some really solid advice. And it's a bit of a challenge too, if you are a procrastinator, a bit like me. But in one of the books, the Psalms, um, it gives us this bit of advice. Teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. And what this is basically saying is that we should be really mindful about how we spend our time. It doesn't last forever. Maybe you think you've got ages to spend at secondary school, especially if you're in like year seven or eight, but I promise you that time will go really quickly. And actually being able to prioritize um, the things that are most important to spend your time doing is really helpful. You see, the time that we have, it's precious and we shouldn't waste it. But this is also a real encouragement because it reminds us that when we do uh, press in and do the right things with our time, when we invest our time in things that we think are really worthwhile, it's going to pay off in the long run. So as always, we love to end on a challenge and this week our challenge is to think about how you spend your time. We've got this worksheet which will be here so you can see what it looks like, where we want you to fill in the circles with the different ways that you spend your time. Maybe write things that you spend lots of time doing in the big circles and stuff that you spend less time doing in the small circles. It can be really helpful and beneficial to compare what kind of we wish we were spending our time doing with what we we're actually doing. Because for all of us, that can sometimes be two completely different things. Thank you so much for joining us this week and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye.